Hi, today I want to do a haul video. Um, basically, um, I've been watching some of the Dollar Tree's videos, Dollar Tree hauls um, on YouTube. Uh, the first time I, I've seen Dollar Tree hauls videos was from Gracie21 on YouTube. Grace, um, you kind of introduced me to um, you know Dollar Tree's and and Daiso and all those cool like you know affordable like stores um, but unfortunately uh, those stores they weren't available in New York I remember just like being on the train and uh, passing by a couple of stops and I remember you know just like one day I noticed that um, dollar they were opening up a Dollar Tree and then the next thing I know there are like family dollars also opening in my area it's two family dollars open up in my area and at least two Dollar Trees open up in my area and I just noticed there's another huge Dollar Tree about to open um, somewhere like farther down so um, that's pretty awesome I guess because um, as far as I know um, a lot of the haul videos on YouTube people you know they get really cool like really cool stuff from Dollar Trees in particularly because um, everything's literally like a dollar and then it's funny how um, the first time I mean when we went into family dollars we went to family dollars first and um, um, that's like more affordable stuff you know like it's kind of like a supermarket almost or a convenience store or whatever you want to call it but um, not everything's a dollar it just everything's like in the super affordable prices but then fam uh, Dollar Tree is different because Dollar Tree is literally like everything, every single items in Dollar Trees are marked at $1. Um, which is kind of crazy and unbelievable in a way. Um, we're not so used to that. And I remember like um, my husband like asked me a couple of times like, this is a dollar too? Like that is a dollar? Like he's so like surprised. And I was like, yes, this is called Dollar Tree and everything is a dollar, believe it or not. Um, because if you look at it, it's like even, I guess, even like a bottle of detergent's a dollar or, um, I don't know, like, if you think about, like, other stuff, like, okay, there are, like, tons of decorations, which I think is good if you go to Dollar Tree's for, you know, like, seasonal holiday type of decorations because, um, you don't really want to spend a fortune on holiday decorations. Uh, we... Honestly, we don't really decorate for holidays, um, you know, because we just don't have any space, as you can see. Um, but I, if you can see that in the back, whoops, like right there in the back, that little frame thing right there, I put up there. Um, I got that from Dollar Tree's, which I think is really cool. Um, it's just like a framed like picture and has some like cool words like inspirational words and something like that on it so it's really simple it's like only a dollar and something like that I think is really cool um you know if you go to Dollar Tree's for that and then also like with your kind of like everyday um hygienic stuff you know such as like um they have like toilet papers for like four rows of toilet papers for a dollar toothpaste Colgate, Crest, and whatever, those kind of name brand also like for a dollar. Um, the Dollar Trees in my area, they don't carry a lot of like cosmetics. They have some Wet n Wild stuff, which um, is pretty cool. They have the newest Wet n Wild brushes for a dollar, but they only have like the angle brush, the blush brush, and eyeshadow brush. So it's very limited stocks. They have like more nail polishes, which I'm going to get into right now. I did pick up like a bunch of nail polishes. They had, they only had like the one that I went to, which is literally downstairs um, of my gym, the gym that we go to, which is Crunch. Um, I don't really go there that often, honestly. Um, just sign up on uh, out of a whim and um, kind of regret it. But I did get a really nice personal trainer, and she's great. But it just like every time I finish working out with her, I go downstairs and it's like Dollar Tree's right there. And I'm like, hmm, should I go in there or not? It's like wasting my time and walking around, walking around the store for another hour or something like that. Uh, it's not very helpful, but um, 
you know, but it's cool because they have like some Halloween stuff right now. And then the last time I went, which was last week, they already ha start having like all the Christmas decorations in there. So I would definitely recommend for people to go to Dollar Trees for holiday decorations, um, picture frames, daily personal hygiene stuff. Um, and then also like, um, what I want to say, like nail polishes or, you know, little things like that. Um, food wise, uh, I'm kind of like on the fence, but they do mark all those expiration dates on the food item they have in there. And a lot of them, they're like, like the expiration dates are like next year or 2018 or something like that, which is surprising because even some of the items in my local supermarkets, they're kind of about to expire. So I just want to go through with, uh, with you like what I got from the Dollar Tree store. Uh, I've been there I think twice or three times so far or twice. Yeah, I think maybe two to three times so far uh, over the past two, three weeks. And uh, I've just got like some stuff that I want to share with you. So this will be like my very first Dollar Tree haul video. And uh, I'm still kind of new to it. Like I said, like I wish I have you know like a bigger place that I can you know decorate for like seasonal like holiday stuff but then again I'm like yeah maybe not that's too much of a hassle um, so yeah but anyways it's still pretty nice that you can get all those decoration stuff for a dollar um, so I got the wet and wild under the sheets 10 makeup remover towelettes I never tried the wet and wild brand but um, yeah, but since it's a dollar, I'm like, okay, let me give it a try. And I also got the Revo lip balm in the flavor watermelon. This has vitamin E and aloe, and it's like a new packaging. It's like a push-up, new push-up packaging. I don't know if this is newer or the Revo, um, you know, the non-push-up ones is, re uh, is new, but if this is new and it's already in the Dollar Tree store for a dollar, that's pretty cool. It does look like it, it has less um, less product than the, the old one. Um, this has 0 0.14 ounce of products, say 4 grams of products, um, and, the pack and the container itself, it just looks a lot smaller than your typical Revo lip balm which looks like the EOS one, by the way, if you're curious, but I do prefer the Revo one for some reason. I feel like the texture is is just smoother. It's not as thick as the EOS one, and it's a little bit more hydrating than EOS. Um, that's why I got this one. And I the first one, the first Revo lip balm I finished using is, was also in watermelon flavor, I believe, and I really liked it. So, yeah, this is pretty interesting because the bottom part is where you push it up. So... That's that, cause you know with the EOS or the old Revo packaging, it's like once you finish the top, top like half sphere, and then you still have the bottom part, you have to kind of use your finger to like scrape out products, and I don't like to do that. I'm kind of lazy like that, so I do like the fact that this is a push up, um, you know, and they have some like cool nail stickers, so I got like um, some nail sticker. Uh, nail stickers and they also have some like lashes I noticed that they have a lot of LA colors um, stuff in there but usually you can find LA colors cosmetics in a lot of the um, I want to say like mm, cheaper affordable convenience stores you know what I mean like even 99 stores carries you know LA colors cosmetics so Dollar Trees also have some of the uh, their lashes. I've never tried the LA Colors lashes, and um, these are always good for my kit. Um, I personally I don't wear false lashes, but I always I always stock them up for my kit. Um, you know, just for photo shoots and stuff, whatnot. So I got three different um, styles. One is dainty, one's delightful, and the other one is dolly. Uh, they they look pretty nice. I mean, so yeah, so they have really nice, like almost like the invisible lash bands, and I thought they look really natural. Like two, three colors from the OPI one, which I thought would be a really good bargain because OPI nail polishes are usually nine dollars and up, and uh, for them to be selling OPI nail polishes for a dollar, I think that's like a really, really good steal. But because they only had two, three 
two to three shades in there and then um, they just didn't really grab my attention they didn't look that like you know that fresh anyways so I didn't get any I don't think I got any uh, wait did I get oh I got one actually hold on I got one because this one looks pretty cool this is called so elegant and it's a clear um, polish with like black and gum metal or black and silver no it looks like black and gum metal um, like glitter flakes in different sizes uh, oh wait I lied so I got another OPI nail polish that's another like glitter fleck um, glitter particles nail polish this is called coming the sky and this is another clear um, base with like holographic and black glitter particles in different sizes um, these are great for layering it's like really awesome so this looks really cool because some of the holographic stuff looks more like a mermaid scale in a way so this one is uh, Stella and this is the LA Colors Color Craze Gel um, Extreme Shine Gel Like Polish it's a miniature size. I don't know if they're all like this or this is just a miniature size of the LA Colors gel nail polishes, but the packaging reminds me of the Nails Ink um, nail polishes. Yeah, this is pretty small. It's like five milliliter of product inside, but you don't really go through polishes like that um, anyway, and especially for black nail polishes. Um, you know for special occasions or whatever a small one is pretty nice I just hope that it's pretty opaque and I got several nail other nail polish from the LA colors regular colored craze nail polish line they all have hardeners inside so but I got 406 hot blooded which I think it's a really nice um, like deeper red color and I got 206 fairy dust which is a just a nice holographic. 203 is called Smother. This is kind of like a duochrome shimmery color. Brownish type of color, but has like a pink shift. Also has some golden shimmer in it. So the, this one is really nice for like current season, like right now. And the next one is 198. It's called Luck Pan Lucky, no, Luck Penny, not Lucky Penny. This is also really great for the fall because it's a re rich, um, brownsy, like penny gold. Their fall appropriate color is 471 Perfect Plum. Uh, it's a plum, like a darker plum color with silver shimmer inside. There's some silver shimmer inside, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, but it's a really gorgeous, like, dark plum color. I, of course I have to get a nude kind of beige nude color. This is 532 Twisted Affair. It's kind of like a mauve kind of color. Um, I really like these type of dusty mauve kind of colors because they're they just make your nails look I guess very clean and classic and sophisticated in a way. Got some fashion duct tape. I thought these are washi tapes but I don't know but they call them fashion fashion duct tape. But they look like washi tapes right? Anyways I thought they were really cool. One is like a red kind of polka dot. Looks like a little ladybug. And the other one's like camel print which I thought is really cool. This is a pretty big tape. Um, just. And I love how it has typewriters on it and it says like hello so I just thought it would be really cool it just include like one strip of this around the envelope when I send something out um, you know and you get quite a bit of this so for a dollar I think it's really nice you know and the rest of these are all the stickers I got so I'm gonna quickly go through them with you know you guys I got some of these stickers. These are like outdoor activity ones and they're the raised up sticker kind of stickers. I thought this is so cool. Like bikes and helmets and boots and rock climbing and that's awesome. This is awesome. Owls. Coffee one looks pretty cool. And tea time and coffee. So this is another one with like cupcakes and teas and um, 
it's almost like drawing on like books type of style if you know what I mean but this is another tea time and coffee my favorite is sunflower my favorite sunflowers are my favorite look how beautiful these are it's so pretty um yeah these are nice I really like them and some of them have like little glitters on them too uh, these like different animal stickers I don't know where I'm gonna use them but they're just like really cool I got this like erasers like animal erasers this is so cute this is so cute so these are probably be really good gifts for little kids um if anything I'll probably send this to Grace and she can give it to her church church minions or the, her church Sunday school kids or I can give well to the kids in my church they're like they're all pretty big kids they're not really kids anymore they're like in high schools or something and then the little ones are like little babies so I can't really give this to anybody in my church but I think she has tons of kids in her church that she teaches them and they might use these for their school anyways so this is my very first Dollar Tree haul video and I hope you enjoy it and hopefully I'll edit down to a decent size a time frame so it's not like super long because uh, I tend to ramble a lot but anyways I had a lot of fun just like walking around shopping at Dollar Trees again you know if I have rooms or if I have like a better place um, I might just like decorate my place and make everything nice and neat um, right now as you can see it's pretty messy I did take down a lot of the um, posters in on my wall as you can see it used to be like super busy background uh, now it's still busy background because all the crap I have <laughs> on my drawers but the wall section is a lot better than before so anyways I'll yes trying to get in the the sense of like cleaning out crap so you don't see a lot of tons of crap in the background but anyways uh, hopefully um, you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you like it don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos and I'll see you next time take care bye